All right, guys, so we are here at the SoCal Gaming Expo in Pasadena, California, and I have to say, I am so flipping excited. Look at the line, dude. It's already started and the thing's not even open yet. Dude, this is gonna be absolutely amazing. Look, they got these awesome backdrops for you guys to take pictures. Dude, it's a Smash Bros level. That's sick. Oh, and then we got Sonic. You gotta have the Sonic background because they got the Sonic voice actors here. So me and Topher, we're gonna be doing a panel here tomorrow in one of these rooms. We even have vendors outside in the lobby area. That's freaking awesome. And here's the vendors. Look at all these people selling video games. Absolutely insane. They're still setting up. People are scrambling. The doors are about to open. And look who it is, dude. It's the Camel Crew. What's going on, fellas? Hey, look at that. Look at that. What's going on, guys? You are a handsome gentleman. How's it going, dude? <laughs> when you said suited up as Mario, I pictured you as Mario. Oh, like like what Rick like what Rick does to his wife? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, how's it going, guys? Are you guys ready, man? The doors open in like 20 minutes, dude. For the VIPs. Oh, for VIPs, for VIPs, nine o'clock. Yeah, they'll be open, dude. But if you're here and you're a VIP, well, I mean, I guess yeah, we're already yeah, we're already here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what are you guys hunting for this week? Are you guys hunting for anything this weekend? Or are you guys just selling? I would like to buy the same thing you're looking for. But oh, Kuon? Yeah. That'd be, that'd be cool, but if you find it first, Dude, I so, so there's a guy who has one um, right there. This booth, this big booth right here, in that glass case right there, he's got one. No manual, but I think he was asking 800, no manual. So, you gotta go to I know. I, I, Dude, because the thing is with Kuon, it's like, sure, I can get it cheaper. Oh, look at this guy. What the fuck is going on? Look at, the, look at this guy. Oh, my gosh. Cancel? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh, what's up, bro? what's up, brother? How are you, How you doing? Tired as fuck. Oh, dude, I don't blame oh, you. Shit. I cannot curse here, right? On uh, my channel, we fucking curse here, Gabo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, baby. Hell yeah. yeah, brother. It's not the it's not the Mickey Mouse Club over here, no, bro. Fucking, <laughs> you're a fucking Mickey the fucking mouse. Yeah. Like a night, baby. Fuck yeah. <laughs> dude so um i figured with a game like kuon bro it's like you know how hard it'll be to find a manual you'll never just yeah because you'll never find the manual separate you'll never find it so it's all or nothing right so he did say he has a copy at home that's minty for a thousand and he told me he's like hey man if you don't find it this weekend i'll send it to you he he's in utah and I'm hoping I find it because I just want to buy it here. Yeah. But you know, if I don't, he said he'll send me the clean copy for uh, for a thousand. So awesome. you know, yeah, which is exactly what I wanted to spend on it. So, but we'll see, dude. There were so many vendors that weren't even here yesterday. Yeah, so I'm yeah. hoping we can find it. Like I'm just, I'm hoping, dude. But I hope you find it. this is nuts, dude. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna get some B-roll. I'm gonna film, try to knock it out early so I can kind of chill the rest of the day. Yeah, you know. Good, man. But yeah, I'm gonna do my rounds and I'm gonna come back and see you guys. Alright, good, brother. We'll Hell see yeah. you soon. Take care. Bye. Absolutely, dude. Anytime. I'll see you guys throughout the day. Take care. Hey, bud. Do you mind if I film your booth? Yeah, is that is that cool? Is that fine? So this is LA Video Games, and their booth is nuts, dude. It's freaking awesome. Look at this. Look how big this guy is, dude. He's like nine feet tall oh dude look at that that is amazing that's dope thank you buddy ben what are we hunting for this weekend dude, oh, dude we're still trying to get the free play area all set up oh really so we need a couple games to control it oh okay yeah. so we're hunting for the, for, convention. for the convention yeah but anything else dude when you're done doing that is there anything you're going to get this weekend oh, or you're I'm looking for NES yeah and NC4. so any games in particular you're trying to uh, check off the list I forgot them right now, but just there's some lower end like NES. Thing. Okay, that's cool, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm excited, man. Like this is gonna yeah. be a great weekend. I'm freaking pumped. But uh, yeah, dude, I'll let you get the free play set up, bro. Yeah. But yeah, I'll hit you up later, man. Great suit. I'm man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. There he is, <laughs> dude. Hey, like no no joke. Riff has been running around like a madman. The Pixel Game Squad has been killing it, but it's a lot of work, dude. I I, I can't imagine for real. And look at this handsome man right here. Yeah. What's going on, dude? I'm gonna make my biggest purchase. I might be dropped 20k. Who knows? Are you serious? Yeah, these are my piece, man. Dude, that's There's amazing. No family out there in the United States that does a better business operation. It's absolutely insane. And who's that? This family, the Eastman family. Hell yeah, dude. Their stories, though, their family. Every every expo I go to, they're like a machine. There's like six to eight of them working. They know their spots. They, they fill up like no other in two months. And all of a sudden, I just bought tons of them off of them in Arizona. And they have quite much in like a few months through. So oh. these guys are the business. And so, I found a few on yesterday. I, I sent you a picture of it. You're getting jealous last night, but you must have been sleeping. Do they really? I got, I got one. Not from here, but I sent you a picture of your thing. Oh. Where did you get it from? I do not know, honestly. But when I seen it, I was here like, at the convention yeah i had to get to you really yeah well we, we might talk something in the future but i got it just because yeah i wanted you to see it at night but you, you were sleeping or something dude I, I need to find that game 
Yep. I need to find it. It'll be in my shop with your uh, name all over. Yeah. We'll hold it for you. Look at all the beautiful people. There's Riff and Gabo and Ben. So many awesome people. This place is about to get packed. So these right here are Manny's from Manny's Arcade. He brought all these machines in with his lovely wife and it is freaking awesome, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, you're good, buddy. So this is the free play area. They got a bunch of consoles hooked up for everybody to come and enjoy with their families. Like, I love it, man. Look at all the cool CRTs. You have GameCube over here. So this must be where you're gonna play some Smash Bros and Mario Kart. That is amazing. Oh, we got the Nintendo World Championship cartridge here. That is, that is freaking awesome. Oh, really? It'll start it? Oh, that is so starting. Okay. And it's the actual competition, the three games, like from, dude, look at these things. This is amazing. That is so cool. I love it, dude. And a scoreboard, that is awesome. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate you for showing me. I'll definitely be back, dude. Yeah, No, dude, that's absolutely, that's cool. I, I definitely want to play for sure. Thank you, guys. So we got some Nintendo Switch free-to-play games over here. We got people playing smash brothers we got my buddy jared's booth how's it going buddy it's going pretty good, is it everything you hoped and dreamed for everything i hoped and dreamed for and more beautiful that's what i love to hear oh man look at how many people oh thank you i appreciate it thank you so much so we look at it is retro respawn in the house what's going on guys Dude, all the all the awesome people are here today. We got so many familiar faces, so many awesome vendors that you guys are all familiar with, that you guys all know and love. I know Chubbs is here. I know Retro Beard is here. So many people. And then we got Dusty right here from the Pixel Game Squad and his booth. Look at all the cool Pokemon shirts. That's so awesome. Yo, what's up, dude? I didn't realize this was your booth. Yeah, I like it. Dude, thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Oh, snap, dude. What's happening, buddy? So I brought you some goodies. Ooh, perfect timing. I'm setting up my table, so. Okay, uh... so guys, I am trading my good buddy, Jared, who owns Laughing Crow Collectibles. Go watch the video. Um, I did a video on his store about a week ago, but I made some trades, right? So I have my own personal copy of Chrono Trigger, but then I did a trade with Mort for his copy of Gotcha Force for my Donkey Kong Jungle Green set. And then from Chris from Retro Games Plus and the Pixel game squad i actually won this switch oled uh in a instagram raffle and he just gave it to me but i have four switches at home but you know what i don't have i don't have a copy of kuon for the ps2 and for as expensive as that game is my wife probably doesn't wish that i would have a copy of kuon either but today we're here with my good buddy jared and he's gonna buy all of this off me so that kuon doesn't cost me anything doesn't that make you happy babe <laughs> look how excited she is well, there you oh go, buddy. Gosh. There's all your stuff. Well, I'm excited to get this stuff. No, I am excited. Oh, okay. and by the way, Jer this is Jared. Hi. This is Jared. This is Elise, friend, yeah. my, our friend Jesse. Hello, this, Jesse. This is where I was in Modesto. Yes. Yeah. I've already given your husband a bunch of money a few weeks ago, too. So. Uh, but yeah, dude. Right, uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing the seven. seven? Yes, sir. Seven? All right. Now we just got to find a copy. Well, that's going to be the key. Have you seen one since you've been in here? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, eight, twelve. And so wait a minute. Five hundred and please. And I, and I still have the 300 from last weekend from you. I like So it. you literally are paying for Kuon for me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, thank you because all the stuff that you gave me was all awesome stuff. And Good. I'm going to do well with everything that you yeah, it's, uh, Good. Super stoked. And I'm glad you can Not get... every day this just like walks over to your yeah. booth and somebody hands it to you. Well, dude, and what's cool is, is it's Friday, right? So it'll be out first thing tomorrow morning. First thing in the morning. And you'll have it all weekend to be able to sell. So Fingers crossed. Dude. I'll only have it for an hour. You know what I mean? Thank you, brother. Love you. I love you, man. All right, bud. Oh, wait. Here. What? Oh, yeah. You need the money. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. We're here with Chase and the Caterpie crew. What's going on, guys? How's the convention been for you? Dude, this one's been good. A it's been good. It's dude. Been so many cool vendors, cool guests. It's been a blast. Dude, that's yeah. awesome, man. Any good pickups? Anything crazy? I've definitely gotten a lot of Pokemon games, a lot of Star Wars games. Got a super limited Nintendo 64 controller. That's that awesome. crazy. I yeah. talked to the guy that sold you that outside. Yeah, oh, yeah? he was yes, telling sir. us about it. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. It's, it's a fun. cool piece. So guys, I've been going around asking everybody at the convention, if someone came to you and said, guys, I want to start collecting retro, but I have nothing. I'm starting from ground zero. What's the first console they should get? And what's the first game they should get with that console if money was not an object 
whatever you think they should have, what would that be? So we're going with high quality glory. I would say a great one to start with would be would be GameCube with Super Smash Bros. Melee. Okay. Okay. I was so close. Okay. I was gonna say GameCube with Sunshine. Okay. Dude, both solid games, dude. That's community awesome. gaming, man. I love yeah, I love awesome. Melee for that. So, what would you say is your favorite GameCube game of all time, though? For me, favorite GameCube game. It's it's probably Super Mario Sunshine. Okay. I've hundred percented it twice. Okay. So I love it. My, my favorite is actually one that Chase and I grew up playing together. It's backyard baseball. So it's oh, not valuable. Nice. It's not high demand at all. <laughs> we put so many hours into it as kids. So backyard baseball would be, would be my go-to game. Dude, I love that answer. So I've been watching you guys for a long time. I'm a big fan. It's so great to see you guys succeeding. Finally you, breaking man. 100K. Thank you. It's amazing. Yeah. I, I wish you guys all the success in the world. And thank you so much for taking the time with thank me. It, it means Same the world to me. It's very surreal. Appreciate to you. be talking to you guys for real. Rock and but thank roll, you bro. guys. Thank you. All right, guys, we are here with Retro Rick himself and Michael. So yes, up? sir. Guys, I've been asking everybody at the show okay. if someone came to both of you and said, hey, I want to start collecting retro, I have nothing. I'm starting from ground zero. What's the first console I should collect for? And what's the first game I should get for that console if money was not an object? No, money's not oh, an money's object? No, whatever you think is the best for them to have. Wow, that changes everything. Oh boy, yeah. It could be for value, it could be for fun, it could be for a little of both. I would probably say, I don't talk about it very much, I would say probably PlayStation 2 because of how large the library is and there are great games that are cheap and there's great games that are expensive. So you kind of have uh, your pick of what you kind of want to go after. That's okay. That's cool. Talk like that. I'd go down the Super Nintendo route. Okay. For me, it's I got like it. it's got solid games that's that still are good to this day. Mm -hmm. uh, and and as far as the game. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that. Yeah, I didn't mention. Uh, what game? What was the question? What game do they have to get? What game should they have on the console? Their first one that they should get. You know what? I would say, and it's a really cheap game. I would say Kingdom Hearts. Okay. A lot of hours into that one. That's solid. Donkey Kong Country Three would Ooh, be where I. The third start. one. Okay. Yeah. The third one. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Well, guys, thank you so much, Rick. You're Got doing it. your own convention this October 13th. Yeah. 12th and 13th. Two days. Okay. Nice. Awesome. So and come on down, bro. In Arkansas, right? Yeah. That's right. Awesome. And check out Retro Rick's Game Point in Arkansas. Yeah. One of the best game stores in the country. He said it, not me. And guys, you guys have been a huge inspiration to me for years. I we talked about it the other night. Thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate yeah. it. It means the world to me. You got it, bro. Thank you, brother. All right, you guys. See ya. All right, guys. We are here with the retro cart collector. What's going on, dude? Not much. Just really enjoying the show. This is they put on one act of a show here. Oh, dude, absolutely. Right? It's been my it's... one of my favorite shows I've been to, man. This has been amazing. Like from the skating to Mort's concert and the bands last night. It's been That's insane, killer. dude, it's been right? insane. Absolutely. Well, Britt, dude, I've been asking everybody the same question. Uh oh. If someone came to you and said, I wanna start collecting retro video games, but I have nothing, what is the console I'm gonna start with? And what's the game I'm getting for that console if money wasn't an object? Ooh, I like, I like that last caveat you put yep. there. Super Nintendo. I think Super Nintendo, and I love RPGs, so Super Mario RPG would be a great one to start with, to really dig into and have a lot of fun with. It's You're able to get into it easy, you can walk into it slowly and learn about it. I think that's one I'd go with. Dude, absolutely. Yeah, you know, a lot of people have said Super Nintendo. You're the second person to say an RPG. David Fink earlier, he was saying he would pick Chrono Trigger, so both oh, great choices, Yeah, dude. Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy III. Dude, honestly, the Super too. Nintendo is like one of the best consoles it's, for RPGs. Right. I always say the Nintendo was my first love, but the Super Nintendo, my true love. Absolutely. That was my first console with Super Nintendo, so. Right. It, I mean, they're great. And we had such a good childhood. We were yeah. so lucky Absolutely. to be that generation, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, dude, thank you so much, dude, man. It's so you. great to see you, brother. I appreciate you. Absolutely, man. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. All right, guys, we are here with Russ Lyman at the SoCal Gaming Expo. Thank you. And Russ, I've been asking everybody the same question. Okay. If someone came to you and said, Russ, I want to start collecting retro video games, yeah. but I have nothing. I'm nothing. starting from ground zero. Okay. What is the first console I'm getting? Yeah. And what is the first game I'm getting with that console if money was not an object? Oh, okay. I mean, even money, no object, right? You obviously think, oh, let me go for the more expensive games. But I feel like there's a lot of cheap games out there that 
still have that fun feeling, nostalgia feeling, like get get the point across, right? You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars. I mean, I'm a big Nintendo fan. Gabo! <laughs> so, <laughs> I think Gabo likes Nintendo as well. I've ever told you I love the Xbox. No. <laughs> I never played the Xbox, so I'd go with an, an, an NES, right? Most people would say Mario. I'd probably lean more towards Zelda, uh, the first Zelda, because it's, it's almost like open world, right? You can play it how you want to. You can explore it where you want, where if you're going with a platformer, you have to go left to right, and maybe you get stuck in a certain part, and then that's it. You can't continue Absolutely. on. Hell yeah, great <laughs> choice, dude. How, how's the convention been for you so far? Oh, fantastic. I mean, it's first time coming out for SoCal, yeah. and I'm having a blast just like, talking to the vendors, you know, speaking to them and getting stories like, hey, where did you come across this object? What's the story behind it? Picking up some cool stuff, talking to the artists, the skateboarding's so cool. Never seen that at any convention. And yeah. last night you missed an awesome band finding emo and they're playing all the stuff from like Tony Hawk, oh, dude. Crazy Taxi. Dude, Josh is great. He co-hosts with Mort on their podcast, dude. He's amazing. The guitar player. Yeah, nice. he's awesome, dude. Yeah, and then Mort rocked out last night and I was like, I was here with my daughter. She's a year and a half dancing, having a blast. So definitely a fun event for sure. Dude, awesome. Russ, thank you so much, brother. Yeah. I appreciate you, man. It was great to see you, bro. Sure thing. All right, you guys. So me and my wife, Hi. We are going to be hunting for something a little different. Um, so I, I already found Kuon, so that's my holy grail. But we want to go out and we want to find our three-year-old daughter a game for her Switch. No idea what we're going to be looking for. And we got to find something cute for our son. And we got to find something cute for our one-year-old, so probably a plushie or something. But stick around. Let's see what we find for our daughter. She loves her Switch, so maybe we'll find something unique, something different that's not a traditional Mario because she has all of those. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see what we find for our kids. Yeah. Come along with us. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. So we ended up finding a game for my daughter. Now, she again, I said she has all the Marios, all the Kirbys, all the uh, first party stuff that, uh, you know, anybody would have that has a Nintendo console. Yeah. But one that was recommended to us, uh, my daughter loves the 3D platformers, and we don't have this one. It's made by the same people who did Banjo-Kazooie, and it's it's clear it's a port or a remaster. But we got her ukulele for the Switch. Um, you know, this looks one looks so fun. It looks really cute. Mm -hmm. I think she's going to like it. So this is what we ended up picking out for. Let us know down in the comments what you guys think about ukulele and let us know some recommendations for our three year old who likes the Mario's, the Kirby's, the Zelda's, you know, and we'd love to hear your guys' uh, recommendations and see what we can get for her. But, you know, we got her a game. I'm so very excited for her to get it when we get home. Yep. And now we got to find our son something cute, like a plush or a toy or I think something. I found something. Okay, well, let's go look. All right, guys. Dude, I am literally shaking. It is right here. I cannot believe we found a copy of Kuon. That is insane. Wow. Hopefully we can make a deal. This is my grail right here, you guys. All right, guys, we're here with JRPG Live, Dan and Elisa. Guys, how's it been going? How's the convention been so far for you? Fantastic. Yeah. That's awesome. Exhausting. You guys, You guys find good stuff? Always. Good, always, good, always. absolutely. Um, so I had a question I've been asking everybody. If someone came to you and said, guys, I want to start retro collecting for the first time, but I don't have anything, what's the first console I should get? And what's a game I have to have for that console? So PS2, just because you can play PS2 and PS1 games. Yeah. Right. And then a game, what do you think? Well, uh, since we love RPGs, uh, you can get the Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9 plus 10 if you do PS2. And yeah. they're all affordable too. No, absolutely. If you That's pick solid. One, probably ten. Okay. Yeah. It's easy to get into all of them. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's very beginner friendly for RPGs. Yeah. Okay. So I have to ask. I know what your favorite Final Fantasy is. It's obviously eight. Which, on what, the day. which Final Fantasy is your favorite of all time? Final Fantasy VI, and you can play it on the anthology collection on PS1. Okay. Now here's a curveball. What's your least favorite Final Fantasy game of all time? That's just you think is garbage. Lightning Returns. That one's pretty bad. Um, I think I'll go with uh, Final Fantasy X-2, the, okay. the second one. I just wasn't a fan of the dress fears. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys you stopping by and doing the video for subscribe me. Subscribe to Rick Wizard's channel. And subscribe to JRPG Live. Are you nah, kidding nah. me? No, it's all about him. Yeah, well, thank you guys.
All right, guys, so we're here with one of the OGs from the Pixel Game Squad. We got Mikey. So, Mikey, I've been going around asking everybody if they came to you and said, Mikey, I want to start collecting retro, but I don't have anything. What's the console I should start with? And when I get that console, what game do I have to have with that console? Okay, so this is going to be super biased. Oh, wait, I think I pressed something. We good? No, no, you're good. All right, okay. I'm super biased because I love the N64. The N64 was like the game that I played for hours, hours, and hours, hours. And the game I would tell them to get, it has to be Smash Bros, the best fighting game ever. I don't care what anybody says. If they tell if they tell you anything else, they're wrong. No, I'm just <laughs> I love Smash Bros. Smash Bros is my life. I love Smash Bros like a lot. So that's what I would tell them. If you guys don't agree, I'm sorry, but that's just me. <laughs> I got one more question, bro. I got one more answer. What's a Funko Pop everybody should have in their collection? Oh my God. Just one. Just one. Just one. Just one. Oh my God, <laughs> bro. That one, bro. We were talking about our brains being mush right now, and then you asked me this question. Okay, I would have to say since I'm a uh, like my biggest collection is Dragon Ball, so I'm gonna just say any Goku. But there's like 20 Gokus right now, so I would say just pick one. But Goku, get yourself a Goku. All right. <laughs> Mikey, thank you so much, dude. It's been great seeing you, bro. You yeah. too, man. It was great meeting you. You're awesome. He has a great personality in real life, too, all right? <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I appreciate you, bro. All right. You too, bro. Thank you. <laughs> well, I got almost all the squad. I still need to go see Ricky and Aaron, but... Uh, I think that's all over there. In yeah. The area, so. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bug them, I think, when it closes down yeah. and it's more mellow. But, yeah, Mikey, thank you, brother, so much. I appreciate you, man. All right, guys. So we're here with my buddy Topher. Hi. And we are hunting for Kuon. Um, we found one earlier. We found two actually. So basically the one guy wants 1100 the other guy wants 900 You know, we're trying to go around and see what other deals we can find not sure if we're gonna find anything But the guy said he'll hold it for me till 10 I'm getting nervous man because those are the types of games that are gonna go the convention is just now opening to the general or to the VIPs so we need to make a decision here quick and see if somebody else has it. But stay tuned, we'll let you know. Standard PS2 box, so if I wanted to change the box, the artwork, yeah. the artwork looks I mean, good. I probably have. <laughs> yeah, like if you I want to- swap it with some crappy PS2 game. Yeah, I can, dude, yeah, I can like swap it with like a nice uh, like case or whatever, but yeah, no. to see if any of them are good cases over there. No, this is great. Are you already filming? Yeah. Oh, all right guys, so we found it. Like right out of the gate before the doors open, we found the rarest PS2 game for the collection. Um, found it at this gentleman's booth. Um, so we worked out a deal and uh, I'm gonna do it, man, because if you don't, it's gonna be gone. Like at conventions like this, the rare good stuff, it doesn't last. So I am good with the deal. I'm, I'm excited, thank you, man. Like this is the grail of grail for my I'm collection. I'm excited for you. These horror games are awesome. Wait, wait, fun. wait, wait. Like they're actually fun games, unlike a lot four, of other five, price games. Six, you know? seven, eight, nine thank you very much sir. thank you brother i appreciate yeah, it man enjoy it oh dude oh, that's a oh dude Pretty i i gotta shake your hand again dude like this literally is freaking nuts we got kuon and now i can chill the rest of the weekend and i have to stress about it i've been stressing for weeks oh dude yeah i'm doing a whole video on it for the convention and i'm just i'm so happy man thank you so much yeah but maybe we can find a, a another grail while we're here i don't know we'll see what happens but dude the goal was to find this we got it we made a bunch of trades we came up with all the cash up front jared from laughing crow collectibles pretty much funded this for me so thank you jared and uh i have the rarest ps2 game in existence so now what? I don't know. We'll find out. Thank you, man. Dude. Ugh. We have Mr. Rec Wizard here, here. by the way. He's... What's going on, guys? How's it going? It's good. going good. It's going so, good. What did you buy today? You got some... I, I bought the rarest PS2 game. I bought a copy of Kuon. Um, that is awesome. Literally five minutes into the show, I was able to find it, and it's pretty stoked, man. This is a holy grail. This is my grail of grails, and I knocked it out in five minutes. Now I can relax and hang out with you guys, so. How much? Pretty stoked. 900. Woo. 900 for a complete copy, which is great because I was willing to spend a thousand. So I saved a hundred bucks. Now I can buy something else. So, so you see a guy in a Nintendo um, suit that's not by the street. He just needs to be. Yeah. Right yeah. And my wife doesn't know yet. She hasn't come down from the hotel. So. Oh, no. Yeah. She knew, she knew it was coming. She, right? Yeah. Yeah. She was like, if I have to hear about this Kuon one more time, I'm like, you won't. I already bought it. You don't have to hear about it ever again. Now you just get to see it. Yeah. The other hundred dollars you saved, so buy her again. 
100%. Happy wife, happy life. Absolutely. But I got you, I have a gift for you guys. And I thought it would be right up your alley. I wanted you guys to have it. So this is, it's actually licensed, it's licensed by Square Enix. And I, I got it at a convention a few years ago. So I wanted you guys to have it for your for your game room or your house or whatever, but I thought it was right up your alley. Absolutely, you should. But no problem anytime, guys. I love your show. You guys have been amazing. You, tr you treat me so, so good, and I appreciate everything you guys do. It's the least I could do. Thank you, guys. What's going on, guys? I love the suit, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Yo, this is Chubb's booth, dude. Look at all the heat that Chubb's always brings, dude. All the CIB Pokemon stuff. Look at that. We got Futurama. We've got Turbo for the Wii U. Fire Emblem. Gotcha Force. All the heat. Yo, Chubb's, what's going on, dude? How's it going, man? It's going good? Hell yeah. Hey, it's, it's going to be a crazy weekend, bro. Hell yeah, man. Dude, Chubb's just brings the heat all the time dude chubbs be gaming you got to check him out on instagram on all the all, all the socials dude it's always got the best stuff he really does dude look at that mario sweater right there in the shadow box that is amazing dude a sega pico in the box it's freaking nuts it is wild and over here we've got game tower you all know our boy elliot there's elliot over there working his magic oh doing good buddy yep just checking stuff out but yeah there's elliot working his magic running his booth told you guys man there are so many so many fa familiar faces here it's kind of nuts to see everybody in one place together i love it man that the community is absolutely insane this place just opened like 10 minutes ago and it's already starting to get packed it is nuts there was a line over an hour or two ago outside this freaking insane it is absolutely insane look we got vhs look at that dude it's so awesome man how much is the banjo uh, that's 70 right? 70 Oh, that's amazing. Do you know Do you know who makes it? DNA. DNA? That's yeah. awesome, dude. I've never seen one before. That's so cool. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, dude. Trying to get all the filming done early so I can relax the rest of the show. Yeah, just getting all the B-roll of all the different booths, saying hi to everybody. I ended up finding my grail five minutes into the show, so now I don't know what else to film. What was it? Kuon for the PS2? Oh, Kuon for PS2? Yeah. Dude, look at this sheet of uncut fossil Pokemon cards, holographic. These are beautiful. Here at Blue Shell. Dude, that is awesome, man. Your booth has a lot of great stuff, man. It's, it's, I'm just like geeking out over all the cool stuff you guys have. It's nuts. Like Secret of Mana, CIB, Final Fantasy 3 or 2. This has the Mike Tyson letter inside that like you only got on the very first two prints of the game. Really? Lost. It's a letter from Mike Tyson thing, saying thanks for buying my game. Dude, and that's amazing. That, the letter alone is like 200 bucks, 250 bucks. So that's an, it's like, that's the But see, that doesn't surprise me, dude, because there's so many games out there that like just even having the reg card yeah. increases the value by even a, hundred, a couple hundred dollars sometimes. Yeah. So, dude, that's insane. Um, that's awesome, dude. Well. Good luck, man. This is gonna be a great weekend, dude. It's, yeah. ju it's just starting. Excited, yeah. It's just starting. We, we, we made our first sale finally. So. Yeah, what'd you sell? Uh, Alundra PS1. Okay, how much does that go for? 130 complete. Nice, that's a good sale. Good start, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. We start, we start with $100 sales all the time. Dude, that's amazing. All right, man, well, thank you for hanging out, dude. I appreciate it, brother. We got John Riggs over here, the legend himself. Don't, be, don't get between me and my money now. Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, do your thing. Come back. No, do your thing. No, no, no. Come on back. <laughs> All of John's homemade games, his home brews. I have that one. That one's on my shelf. And it's signed. Okay, that's good. I love it. Yeah, it's a good thing I saw the video from the Logan Paul thing last night. I saw one of your videos. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So you're going to be here tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'll be here. Okay, so tomorrow when things are like slowing down and not so hectic i was gonna then talk to all my youtuber friends and all the youtubers and stuff all right guys so we are here with my buddy cake hoarder and i i have a question for you look i know you're a gamecube guy yeah right 
and there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm a P I, but I'm I'm a PS2 guy, and I have to say my console is the best selling of all time. But that aside, if you were gonna recommend a PlayStation 2 game to a brand new collector, money wasn't an object, yeah. right? And they were like, dude, I'm starting a PS2 collection. What's the one game I have to have? I gotta ask you actually, Guitaru Man. Sick ass rhythm game. I've heard of that game. You haven't played it? I have not played it. You gotta play Guitaru Man, bro. If you like the rap of the rapper, like weird rhythm kind of games, Guitaru Man, check it out. It's kind of pricey, it's like 150 bucks. Yeah. But it's fire, trust me. Dude, awesome. Or, man. it's probably not good for a beginner collector, but Tulip. Very weird, super Japanese little RPG kind of game. Very cool, very fun, check it out. Or for Rapper the Rapper 2. You heard it here. You heard it here from the GameCube guru himself. So, thank you so much, dude, for doing the video. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, man. Have a good time. We'll hang out, man. So, I have been looking for a game that apparently is harder to find than Kuon because I've been at this damn convention all day and my wife asked me for a PlayStation 1 game from her childhood and she said, can you please find it? I have gone everywhere. There is 240 vendors, I've asked everybody, and I cannot find this damn game. But I found three copies of Kuon, the rarest PS2 game in existence, but I can't find this fucking game. But I think we found it. Let's go take a look and see if we can grab it. So we were walking at the Camel Crew, uh, we were walking with the Camel Crew, talking to them, and a guy walks up to me and goes, Hey man, I think they have your game at Toys vs. Games. It's at the end row, you gotta go check them out. Like I said, I've looked everywhere for this game and apparently it's here. So, we're here with the owner? Yeah. Tony. The owner, Tony. So, I'm looking for Spice World on the PS1. All right, let's do it. So, I know you guys are laughing in the comments because why would I want Spice World on the PS1? It's because happy wife, happy life. So let's see if we got it. I, dude, I've looked everywhere. I'm so sick of looking at PS1 games. I've looked all day long. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Here, no right. way, dude. Happy life. Happy life, dude. Yes. Hell yeah. You come here and, again and look at that. Ten Could, bucks? For 10 bucks, dude. Uh, that's a deal. I'm taking it home. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, man. I'm glad. I'm glad Appreciate it, dude. We got it, guys. Not only did we get a copy of Kuon, but we have apparently the rare game Spice World. <laughs> For the PS1, I love you, babe. Um, yeah, I'm done looking at games. You can hunt for your own games. But anyway, let's keep going. We got a lot of more, a lot more convention to see, and uh, I'm burnt out. I'm tired. I've been here since seven this morning. So, but we got Spice World, dude. Check out Toys vs. Games. They're on Instagram, dude. They really hooked it up. Again, super juiced. My wife's gonna be happy. So let's keep looking around. All right. So I was at the Camel Cruise booth when the gentleman came by and told me about Spice World that I was looking for for my wife. And that just means that the camel crew is good luck. So I bought them a little gift. I got them a authentic camel fanny pack. Let's go give it to them, man. They deserve it. I love those guys. So day one has come to a close at the SoCal Gaming Expo and day two is getting ready to kick off this morning. And, uh, you know, th this is going to be the section of the video where, you know, you can always skip it. You can, uh, you know, stick around and listen to me uh, get a little sentimental with you guys. But I have to say that yesterday was absolutely mind blowing. It was an experience like no other. And uh, I I'm just absolutely blown away by how much fun I had yesterday. Uh, getting to meet everybody for the first time, um, getting to meet all of you know my fellow YouTubers and creators that I have looked up to for years that have been inspirations to me, inspirations to my channel, um, just my entertainment for, I don't know, a decade of, of watching creators on YouTube talk about retro video games. Um, it, it's one of those things where it's absolutely wild to stand in the same room as these people and uh, hang out with them, you know, just like they're normal people and they are. And that's one thing you'll learn when you meet them in person is that they're just normal dudes. And, uh, you know, there's so many people here that have been huge inspirations for the channel, like Retro Rick, 
and Mort and the Pixel Game Squad and JRPG Life and John Riggs and Pat the NES Punk and Gaming Off the Grid and Caleb and Chase. And there's so many that it's, it's absolutely wild to get to hang out with them and uh, you know, go have a drink with them and you know, go have dinner with them and just talk and get to know these people. Getting to meet you know, Riff's family, his, his parents, his sister was absolutely amazing. They are awesome people and you can definitely see uh, where Riff uh, gets his personality from, where he, you know, he, where, why he is the person that he is. His father uh, seems like such a great man. Like we talk in great lengths and he's a real gem and you can see where Riff gets it from. Um, you know, getting to meet all of the awesome vendors and people in the community that I have literally seen in people's videos for years, whether it's Chubbs or Elliot from Game Tower or Punky or the Camel Crew, fucking love the Camel Crew, man. Like all of these people, you know, Collector Protector, those guys, the brothers that run that, they're amazing. Um, you know, Romeo who runs LA Video Games, Retro Respawn, like there's so many and I'm gonna forget people and I apologize, but I have to tell you that I felt like this so far, and, and we're on day two, that it's not over yet, but from Friday till now, and it's Sunday, I feel like I've been a part of a really long Pixel Game Squad episode, and it feels absolutely surreal, and it feels like a blessing. You know, my goal here coming was to not only meet great people and see my friends and and finally get to give people hugs and a handshake and finally put you know a face to the name on a lot of these people that you know follow me on instagram and youtube and TikTok, and to have people come up to me and actually know who the fuck i am and want to shake my hand take a picture you know have me sign something like i'm somebody it is it has been surreal emotional and absolutely wild and all in good ways um you know honestly guys it's when i started doing youtube a year and a half ago i never thought in a million years that i would be sitting here along some of the most amazing content creators in history and um it's mind-blowing it really is like I, I don't really know what word to use other than that it's like i never thought it would happen and you know to be honest when i walked in and i saw my booth right with topher um and my name is up there next to pat the nes punk so Someone who I have been watching for over a decade. Someone who I took huge inspiration from when I started my podcast because his CU podcast is amazing. You know, watching Pat, you know, with Flea Market Madness and the Pat the NES Punk character. And again, the podcast with Ian. And how can we forget about Frank? Everybody loves Frank, Pat. We, we You know that. I think Frank's the favorite on your show. Like, you know, everybody loves Frank. Um, but just to have my name next to Pat is is surreal. To, to be having a beer with John Riggs the Metal Jesus Squad was the first group of YouTubers I ever watched oh, well over a decade ago. Jason and Drunken Master Paul and Kelsey and, and Kinsey and you know, you got Reggie and Hancock and John. Uh, it's like, it's it's mind blowing. Meeting John Riggs' family, his, his lovely family, his daughter and his wife, they're so kind. It's just, they're, it's just been a really crazy emotional experience for me um, because I've been fans of these people for so long and all of the vendors and and people like Lopez and Manny and all of these just there's so many of you and I'm trying to shout everybody out because like I've talked to you all for so long on Instagram and in DMs and through the phone and exchanging our real numbers together and you know we have Black Ranger my buddy French and Marcus you know video game votary my buddy John one up pickups you know Adam's game room you know uh, retro cart collector like there's so many people here that I have talked to for so long online and that have supported me and watched my videos and watched my shit and commented and now I can finally meet them and give them a hug and shake their hand and say fucking thank you and it's like it makes me emotional and it means a lot and this is like an opportunity that I never thought I would have and it's an honor and it's a privilege and it just feels like one big fucking family in that building and one thing this is gonna sound corny but you know if it wasn't for like retro Rick that I started watching about four four years ago or so when he started his ten dollar game collection um, through his channel I found Riff and Ricky you know and through that I found Mort, you know, watching Rick stand in Mort's garage. I was like, who is this Mort guy? 
and I fell in love with Mort's channel. And through Mort, I found Dan and Elisa, you know, JRPG life. And, you know, found so many people, found Caleb, you know, Phoenix Resale, and found Chase after the right price and the Caterpie crew. Like finding all of these people, it's just like, it has been a domino snowball effect, but it's all been amazing. I'm a huge fan. Getting to talk to Caleb, you know, I don't care what anybody says. I'm not a reseller, I'm a collector, but I love Caleb and his content. GameCube Gambit, I don't care what anybody says, is one of the best retro series series on YouTube. And I've been a fan of him for years since Caleb was doing it out of his car, begging for Chipotle to sponsor him, which I think they should, by the way. Um, no, it has been wild watching all of these people for literally years on my hours and hours of commuting for work. I've, I've consumed a lot of YouTubers and I, I have, I've really narrowed down the ones I really care about and the ones I really like. And there, a lot of them are here. Um, it's been surreal. And I'm just, I'm just, talking right now like i'm just rambling right now but you know i it's there's a lot of emotions going on because yesterday and friday were absolutely insane sitting down and having a beer with john riggs talking about video games and here walks in retro rick and he's sitting there and he hangs out with us for like two hours and we're talking about video games and we're talking about life and we're talking about work and we're talking about family like retro rick is one of is just such a huge pillar in the community and for me again if it wasn't for him i wouldn't have found a majority of the newer generation of youtube channels because me watching for over a decade you know, you have the OGs, the Metal Jesus Squad. You have Happy Console Gamer, Pat the NES Punk, Adam Korlick, Angry Video Game Nerd, you know, the Game Chasers. Um, you know, there's so, so many um, from way back in the day. But then you got this like newer generation that's been around, you know, for the last, you know, four or five years that have really taken off and have become pillars in the community that are almost like getting the torch passed to them. And I have fallen in love with all of their channels. And it has been absolutely insane being here with all of them. I mean, dude, wearing the suits, people want to take pictures with me because of the suits and they think they're, they're cool and kids want to come up and take pictures. And it's absolutely nuts. And it, it couldn't be more humbling and I couldn't be more grateful. So before this is any longer, and before I ramble on any longer, let's go inside and start day two. You know, at the end of it, you guys, I just want to say to all of you, the vendors and all of the creators and the, the Pixel Game Squad for putting this on. Chris, Rick, Riffy. Uh, and I want to say thank you to the Pixel Game Squad. Chris, Rick, Ricky, Curtis, Mikey, Gabo, Lance, like all of you guys, like for putting this show on. Because let me tell you, I feel like, and I don't know if I'm right or wrong, Riff, you can let me know down in the comments, but the Pixel Game Squad is not just a group of people. Um, and I know this is gonna sound corny as fuck, dude, but just hear me out. This is the way I look at it, and this is the vibes that you guys have given off. The Pixel Game Squad is more of a feeling, right? Like, we're all the squad. Whether you live here in SoCal, NorCal where I live, across the pond, like the Pixel Game Squad is not just a small group of people, it is literally a movement, it is a feeling, it is a family, and we are all the squad. And that is the vibes I got in that building for the last two days. You know, getting to see Ben was absolutely amazing, and Eddie, and like there's just so many dude, like I can't name them all, but you're all amazing, and you have been a blessing in my life. And I don't care how long this part of the video is, I just want you guys to know that, that this whole experience has been surreal and I am beyond grateful to all of you. Um, and I love all of you. I genuinely mean that you guys have changed my life for the better. And I would love for this to be a yearly tradition where I come and hang out with everybody down here at SoCal. Um, this expo has been mind blowing. Um, I'm beyond grateful. And again, to be a part of a really long Pixel Game Squad video is, has been a blessing and a dream come true.